Welcome back everyone. This is the next part of our uh, Monster Mash. We're trying to complete this quest finally <laughs> um, So we're, we're welcome back if you're returning by the way welcome back if you're returning. <gasps> oh a loot goon lies Wow Can't say no to loot Oh yeah, actually, I can, I can say no to that. Yeah. All right. Um. So yeah, apparently Doctor Zed made an abomination, and we have to kill it. So. Let's uh, find this abomination. Something tells me it's not actually right here, but it's up here. Something tells me that. It's getting like little bits and quick pieces of experience here and there. Unless it's over here. Maybe it's over there. We'll see. Oh. Um. Hmm. Maybe it is right over there. I kind of forgot how to get over there. Well, I got a hundred badass rank. All right, here, let's see. Let's see if I can do this. Ugh. Never mind. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do then. Um. One sec, one sec. How do I get over there? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, so I just go this way and I go around. Alright. I'm just getting lots of, lots of badass. Loads of badass. Alright, let's see. Is the flame god over here? Yeah, Scorch. Alright, what'd you drop? Some Iridium, maybe? Cause I'll take the Iridium. No? Okay. Alright. So it looks like it's gonna be over here, then? Let's check this thing out. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that thing. All right. Wow, look at that. E. That's Absolutely terrifying. 
Alright, well. Let's, uh. Go ahead and end this thing. There it goes. Alright, let's go turn in. Monster Bash. It was a graveyard smash. That was a really cool enemy, honestly. I like it. I like the enemy. I think the enemy was, hmm, I'll keep you that way. quite particular. Yes, I just sold it. Yes, I sold it. It's time to time to get rid of some things. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh, can't get rid of that though. Can't get rid of that. One thing's for sure. Swap that with that. Take that off. We're gonna summon. Wait for the blue juice. And we go. The blue go go juice. That's what it is, is go go juice. Yes, I love you so much as I do. Oh, no, no, take it, take it. Oh. There you go. Yeah. See, they look similar, right? You just match them. No, don't throw it at me. You little silly. All right, let's turn in this quest. Yeah, Daddy's turning quest. You can't hear it, but. Uh, another day, another unsuccessful genetic abomination. Yep. And I'm not asking questions. All right, looks like we got another side quest over here. Good thing we came over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's gonna collapse. Nya, 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 nya. Nya, 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 nya. Nya, 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 nya. <laughs> You're so beautiful. I love your smile. Like I said, mm. instead of punching. I prefer to keep my distance from the target, pick my moment, and kill them with a single well-placed shot. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You lost yeah, watch. instead of punching. See? Is it the same? See? Cause like X looks like X. Then we have V for V, see? Look, V. V. I mean, look, we got this one right here. B? B. Okay. Here, I'll set that over here. Alright. Whoops. Okay. Mordecai. You've been listening to those Hyperion newscasts that say you're killing kids and kicking puppies? Yes, I have. I found the guy who's recording them. <gasps> He's in the arid nexus. Pay him a visit and set the record straight. Alright. Sounds good. Hello, slab. <laughs> no, no, no. Slag him first. Whoops. Ooh, arid nexus. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. All right, let's go pay this Hunter Hellquist. Let's go pay him a little visit. It is I, Hunter Hellquist. The Vault Hunter is kicking puppies. I'm making people upsetty spaghetti. I like this guy. Oh, no, 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 come back down. Alright, go back up. It's time to go! Alright, 
with you! Badass bastard scum! Reinforcements requested at Hyperion Truce Network. Deploying. Look how he looks. Ouch! Oh, no wonder why I fell instantly. <laughs> Falls instantly a second time. Hunter Hellquist. Oh, he has a radio station! Turn off the radio station on him. Oh, look at all these echo logs. What the heck is this? This just in. This just in. Today marks a historic occasion, listeners. The day order came to Pandora. After heroically opening the vault and destroying the evil inside, our beloved leader, Handsome Jack, dispatched miners, surveyors, soldiers, and engineers to the savage border planet. Jack wishes to assure the populace that Hyperion will bring peace and order to the lawless hell that hmm. Pandora has become. Bandits, psychos, these will be a thing of the past. With Hyperion in charge, Pandora can look forward to a very bright future indeed. Trouble on the border worlds, listeners. <laughs> Hyperion Truth Broadcasting has learned that less than a week after Hyperion's arrival on Pandora, factions of murderous bandits are doing their damnedest to terrorize Hyperion peacekeepers. And so chaos across Pandora. These pathetic bandits claim to have opened the vault. Should you encounter these terrorists, report them to Hyperion at once. Today, Hyperion struck a great blow against the bandit hordes of Pandora. The terrorist stronghold of New Haven is in ashes. Thanks to the work of a courageous informant known as Ship Sanders, Hyperion infiltrated the town shortly before daybreak this morning. The Hyperion troops, led of course by <gasps> Jack, managed to capture the bandit known as Brick and execute the terrorist witch Known as Lilith. Today is truly a great day. Oh my gosh! Shep Sanders in the first one. He was like in, in like the first map. What the heck? Yo, that's honestly Murder! Honestly super messed up. That's honestly super messed up because he was giving us quests and stuff too, and we were talking to Shep Sanders like, "Wow." Yeah, that's. Ooh. I don't know about all that. <laughs> that's so messed up, man. Explain it to me again. Like I say, hey, slab. instead of punching, uh, hello. I prefer to keep my distance from the target, pick my moment, and kill them with a single well-placed shot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you lost me yet, instead of punching. <laughs> Hunter Hellquist, we Good ended him. You. Things should be a lot easier for us without that windbag spouting lies every day. Or that traitor. Shep Sanders. You traitor! Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna give myself another stack just because. Do I have any other side quest? Nope, here we are. Let me check before before I go. I'm gonna start at the top. Just go down. Nope. Alright, cool. Let's go, Air Nexus data mining. So we've officially completed um, practically all the side stuff um, so far, at least to my knowledge. There might be something I may so happen to be missing, but mayhaps, mayhaps not. Um. Okay, so let's continue.
put an end to Hunter Hellquist. Death Trap has a lot of HP for sure. Let's go to crank that soldier boy. Plan follows through. Let's kill handsome Jack and then we'll all go out. That's messed up. No, I'm just playing. He's still really dead. Grab his echo, you know, when I left. Just wanted to tell you the Lilith is doing a bang up job charging the ball key for me. The warrior will be awake in no time. Well, that's cool and all. It smells like piss and nachos. It sounds like something Ryan Reynolds would say. It's like caressing a newborn baby. I always speak like this. And I always make make those those like analogies, you know? Because people find it funny. Like kittens in cowboy hats. Opening up these boxes like I do my fifth box of cereal in the morning. I really like this gun. This gun is so cool because it's like, I'm about to deal a lot of damage in just a second. <laughs> By my command. <laughs> I love that. Ooh. I just want to set the world on fire. Nice. Go ahead, crank that soldier boy. Nice. Sounds like the pipes are nearly bursting. Get the last pumping station and we'll be ready to blast the pipe. <sighs> Ready. Well, let's uh, make mounts out of here. Tenacious technophile. What if later on in life, right? Like, just, just thinking about it. Later on in life, AI becomes so advanced. Uh, you know, there's like robots. You know, like basically like robots for you know like adults and stuff, right? And like it, it all just becomes so advanced, right? That AI ends up having uh, this like false sense of consciousness, right? But people are like, they have consciousnesses. That means they're peoples, you know? And now everyone has to like beware of how they treat, act, and talk around robots 
because a robot has a programmed consciousness, you know what I mean? But like, like I wonder what what would happen in those days. Like, are there gonna be like anti-robots at that point? That's a lot of damage. Ooh, get those criticals with this. Let's go and turn this. Thirty-five! Thirty-five and alive! Because, yeah, that, <laughs> that really makes me wonder, because, like, you could technically, technically, program a consciousness into a robot. You could technically do that. Is this stuff safe to breathe? Oh, oh, yeah, but what I was saying to that whole point was that, like, you know, technophile, right? Like, you know how, like, right now there's, like, there's pedophiles, right? People that are into, like, little children, right? With, like, these sick, sick people. But the thing is, is that, like, I'm pretty sure... Once AI begins having a consciousness and everything, people start having, like, quote-unquote, new age robots, you know what I mean? Like, AI that only had consciousness for a certain amount of time. And so people are going to want to develop relationships with these AIs, you know what I mean? And there's going to be a group of people out there that's like, you know what, this is not okay. This is not alright, because these AI, these beings of consciousness are too too young you know what I mean and so now you have literal techno files it's those people that are sitting in the slums of reddit hiding away in their little subreddits being like like trying to find any means to get with an AI that's like I guess under development what the, is that what you would call it under development <laughs> Uh, another side quest. We gotta go towards the side quest. What a world. What a world we'd be living in. Alright, let's see. Um, two, two! Alright, let's grab these quests. Thanks for accepting my job. Hyperion robbed my Uncle Teddy and sent him to die on this armpit of a planet. I need you to search his cabin in the arid nexus for something I can use to avenge his death. Found a little echolog. You'll need to access oh, dude. Find some evidence that Hyperion stole his weapon designs. 
Right there. Teddy, like a lot of people on Pandora, evidently, kept all his echo correspondence. Minus a thousand max health, though. E, e, I don't know. But since I'm going with this route, might as well increase this. Ooh, iridium. Here, right, let's go. Get a little gun machine here. That's kind of nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna sell it. I'm gonna most likely end up not using it, so. And let's see, what what guns am I using? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I could I could sell that. Ooh. Well, first day on Pandora. Wife's not too happy about the move. Oh, <gasps> it's Baja. This here's the beginning of our new life. <laughs> oh my God, it's Baja Blast. It's Baja Blast from the first one. Dude, what the heck? Well, my wife's dead. Oh man. Dude, TK Baja Blast. Such a sad ending to that character, man. He was so happy, so full of joy and you know, he was charismatic given everything that was going on. By a big ass stag named Scar. Once I bury her with the lady finger, that cute little gun I made for her, I'll see if I can't get me some revenge. <laughs> you won't have died for nothing, Marion. I promise you that. Which actually this is so cool because like playing the first game, then playing the pre sequel and stuff, you actually get the references that are being spoken about in this game, right? Scar, remember how like we go to Baja and we have to run all the way back to the other area on the side and then go through uh, on the top and everything. Like, Scar blinded me and ate my leg. <laughs> I may be a blind, crippled widower, but that don't mean all's lost. Met some folks looking for the vault. I did the see you later joke a couple times, but they just didn't get it. Oh. Yeah. oh. And I did find that old message I got from Hyperion a few years back. Hit it in the corner for safe keep. All oh, rack spit. Bandits. Well, I'm sure this will turn out all right. No, oh, and that I think that's when he dies. Oh, four. Mr. Baha, we at Hyperion adore your wave rifle design so much that we have decided to appropriated for ourselves our assassins are en route to your home on isolus between us mr baha i would suggest leaving the solar system before they arrive great that was just what i was hoping to hear now if you can find the blueprints for the weapon design they ripped off i'll give you the first gun my uncle ever gave me well let's find his blueprint Hmm. Uh, um, it might be up here. Man, that's so sad. That's so sad. So it was actually Hyperion that killed Baja Blast. Man, that's a shame. That is a damn shame. Uh, blueprint, blueprint, work. Oh, what's it supposed to be up here? I don't think so. Well, that's something. Um, isn't his mailbox? No. Is it over here? No. 